So here I am at 343 Industries in Kirkland, Washington, and Xbox has been kind enough to invite me up here to go hands-on with the multiplayer of Halo 4 for the first time. And I'm here with Josh Holmes. You are the creative director on Halo 4. Josh, a big day for you guys. You opened the day with the big unveil of campaign, and now tonight we're going to get a first look at multiplayer. And this is a pretty ambitious multiplayer move. Huge. Yeah. The video that we showed in the press briefing today, you saw that giant ship that came over Master Chief. That's the infinity, and that's the foundation from which all of our multiplayer experiences uh, are unleashed. So you literally, you know, create your own Spartan, your own soldier, you're on the infinity, and then I guess there's sort of two paths you can go down. You can go down War Games, which is the competitive multiplayer, and then Spartan Ops, which is the sort of more narrative-focused co-op. Exactly. So War Games is uh, essentially a training exercise that allows Spartans to head into combat against one another on the combat deck. And then Spartan Ops is a, a cooperative episodic experience where each week we're going to have a new episode of a show that launches and players will be able to invest in this group of characters that are aboard the Infinity. And then we'll have five missions that launch each week along with that episode that they'll be able to go online and play with their friends and kind of drive the story forward. Let's talk about the narrative links between all these different elements of uh, Halo, because for the first time, it feels like multiplayer is really going to have a story that evolves over time. We made a decision about three years ago that we were going to make sure that instead of uh, segmenting off stories and putting them in safe little bubbles that didn't interfere and interact with the mainline game story, that everything would matter, that everything would have connection points. They're all standalone narratives, they're all going to be completely compelling and understandable, no matter what angle you go in from. So you get a little movie, you get uh, five new missions as part of this season, so you're really kind of moving the story forward and it sounds like this is going to sort of bridge the gap between Halo 4 and what comes after it, which I assume is Halo 5, right? Yeah, this is definitely something that we see being that reason for players to keep wanting to come back, keep, you know, playing alongside their friends and feel like for the first time ever when they're playing the multiplayer experience, they're actually able to propel the universe forward in some way. The way to close out day one of our coverage